Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Pyra, and I was just playing Kingdom Hearts 3 about a day ago, and I was like, hmm, what could I make on this game? Like, what content could I make on this game that is so stupid that it's entertaining? So I, I loaded up a new save file, and I got to the Olympus uh, world, and I was like, okay, you know what this level has a lot of? It has a lot of walls. It has walls everywhere, right? And I was like, okay, what if I beat this level without wall running? Is it even possible? I really wanted to know. It made me really curious. So the first jump was pretty hard. I had no idea how to get up there without wall running. Because since it's the first wall running part, the game wants you to do that, of course. There's no other way, really, that they introduce for you to get up there. So I really had to think outside the box on this one. At first I thought of wall kicking off the wall and trying and seeing if there was like some secret jump, but unfortunately there wasn't. And then I tried climbing up on some items that were farther away from the wall and then like air gliding over to it slash keyblade swinging because if you didn't know, you can air glide and keyblade swing repeatedly and it will kind of let you float in the air. So. I actually figured out that there was a rock high enough to get me onto a pillar and that pillar was level with the top of the wall that I had to climb. So the first jump worked out pretty easily actually. The second wall I got a little stumped again. I looked around for anything that I could jump off of but unfortunately there was nothing high enough to make it over the second wall. And that's when I realized the coolest move in this game. I found out that if you air kick against the wall, glide out, and swing your keyblade in flow motion, which is the blue thing around you, you can actually get a little bit higher in the air. Yes! Then I hit the third wall. I'm gonna say the n-word. I wanna die. Ah! You think I don't know about Sam? So I'd now been on this level for about an hour and a half and I was getting really tired of it. But then I remembered all the views I was gonna get and I was like, okay, it's worth it. So I kept going, I kept climbing the slopes, climbing the peaks, wondering why. Then I came to the big wall. Now the big wall was different from other jumps I'd made. It was different in the sense that the back wall I needed to spring off of for the flow motion disappeared about halfway up. <laughs> Plus, it was wider than the distance between me and the kids that Susan took. Now I know what you're wondering. Did I actually make it up the big wall? Well, I'm happy to say I did after four hours. Basically, the game doesn't let you wall kick and swing your keyblade out in flow motion twice in a row. However, the game does let you jump off the wall regularly in flow motion an infinite number of times. 
So what I found out is that if you wall kick, cancel the glide out, and then swing your keyblade, you'll still be in flow motion. So basically what I had to do is swing my keyblade out, then air glide back, swing the keyblade in a different direction so as not to hit the wall, and then wall kick again to the wall, cancel the air glide, and then swing the keyblade again, if that made any sense. The last segment of the wall took a good 20 minutes to run without making any mistakes and unfortunately I had to do it twice because the first file corrupted. Right about now, Donald. You could heal me right about now. You could heal me right about now, Chief. After I climbed up the dark wall, I realized I still had to fight the bosses without climbing up the volcano. But it actually turned out to be pretty easy because obviously I could just swing my keyblade and Sora would float up to them. The whole mission took about eight hours to complete, I would say, and honestly, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> 